Hey guys, today I thought it'd be a super fun idea to go ahead and challenge myself to make a full visual effects shot from start to finish in under 20 minutes or less. Of course, like always, I'll have all the files I use down below, and if you want to download my final Blender file, I'll have that on my Patreon as well, so link is down below to go join there. But let's go ahead and get started into the challenge. I'm going to be limiting myself to 20 minutes today, so let's go ahead and start. Now, first, I'm going to go ahead and motion track my footage. Now, I went ahead and converted mine into an image sequence already, uh, just because I didn't figure I'd have enough time to do that in my default kind of, you know, under 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and set the scene frame, prefetch. I'm going to go ahead and set it to standard, view transform. And then let's start detecting some markers. I'm going to normalize everything. These are kind of just the default settings I set for any shot that I'm doing inside of Blender. Let's go ahead and detect some features. Threshold down and also distance down. That looks pretty good. Uh, we do have some black border down here. So I'm going to increase the, or sorry, not that. Let's go ahead and decrease, or sorry, increase the margin just so it gets rid of that. Control T to track those forward. Detect some features. Control Shift T, track those backwards. Then let's just go in the middle here and track some of these uh, forwards and backwards on 76. So now that we have just a ton here, let's kind of do a quick, quick manual pass. I'll know I'll have a lot of markers kind of going a little bit haywire, but of course, we just want to try to get all of those out uh, as much as possible. Um, just so Blender does most of the heavy lifting, but of course we want to aid it as, uh, you know, as much as we can. And so I'll just delete some more of these. Uh, everything else Blender could probably get out itself. And so let's bring this down. Let's go ahead and get our first solve. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, it moves the most kind of at the start of my clip. So maybe like 1 to 50 maybe. Let's test that. And then refine everything and go ahead and solve our camera motion. That should give us a pretty fast solve since it's a very short scene. So uh, three point, that's a really good uh, solver. So let's go ahead and clean that up a little bit. I was worried this was going to be a little bit difficult to track, but um, so far it's seeming to actually go pretty all right. And so down to a 0.7. Uh, if I, you haven't seen my camera tracking methods, I actually have uh, many videos kind of going over how I camera track inside of Blender. Uh, this is kind of just the default kind of way I camera track uh, almost everything inside of Blender. And then if I do need to like kind of refine it a little bit, I'll do my adjustments. But um, I actually picked this scene because it's pretty easy to camera track, I believe. And so we can see we got a 0.34 solver. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and save the project. Um, so let's just save it in here. And Forest EG. Okay. So now that we have our camera track, let's go ahead and set up background and tracking scene. Uh, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go out to layout view. I'm not going to mess around since there's not really floor planes uh, or points on this uh, scene since it's kind of a, you know, huge scene. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of manually sit it myself. Let's go ahead and delete the background view layer. Also in compositing, we're going to delete these four nodes, plug the image into here. And sorry if I'm not really explaining everything since this really isn't a tutorial. I'm trying more to beat the time. And so let's go ahead and rotate my scene. So I'm going to go uh, add a plane axis, select my empty, and then camera. Or I want my empty to be yellow. Then control P, parent that. And now I can rotate my scene. So let's rotate on the X. And then the we'll do the Z, or sorry, uh, Y. There we go, and then make sure move it like that, and then uh, move it a little bit, make it a little bit better there, and then G, Z, move that up. It doesn't need to be perfect uh, since we're not actually caring about the ground plane. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and import in my uh, model. So I just downloaded a model, uh, you know, huge thanks. Everything is down below. I didn't make any of the model or anything. So let's go ahead and append. We're going to go here and locate the model I have downloaded. I'll have the uh, creator and everything down below. And I believe it come was, came with a blend file, so I'm going to append everything into my scene. We're just going to select all the objects there. And oh boy, <laughs> there's a huge mess of stuff here. So first of all, let me just M, create new collection, robot, like that, and then let's go ahead. I want to hide this, and let's just delete all of this garbage over here. Hopefully, it's not parented to anything. I don't think it is. Let's go up and set. Uh, first, I want to set my camera settings. So let's 
go to background images on the opacity up and render undistorted off so that uh, we can see a little bit better in this viewport let's go ahead and go over to this rig and what I do want to go and do is go over here and make sure motion tracking is set on just so I kind of have some points of reference um, and so this I believe these points over here are kind of like this hill right here. And so, um, you know, everything I'm working in, I need this robot to be way scaled down. So something like that, maybe I'm positioning it over here. And so let's see. So the robot is like this. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Just uh, scaling it down there. Cool. So um, let's go up and set some render settings. So cycles, GPU, compute denoise if you port on and then I'm just going to stick with the default kind of render settings of course I need to set it to transparent and uh, that is looking pretty pretty good and so uh, let's go ahead and do some lighting now I downloaded HRI I'm hoping it works um, I try to match it as much as possible but we are about to see for the very first time to see if I'm going to need to download another HRI so this can be fun so pray okay that doesn't look terrible i try to match uh you know the hdri as much as possible um it's a force hdri and that looks pretty good to me so now that we have that set up let's get red or we'll keep the motion tracking on i need to animate the uh the robot so let's go ahead and do that i want to um leave this on rendered i want to turn can i turn the uh the bones off where is it? Bones. There we go. Okay, so that's off. Um, what are these things? Okay, so lasers sticking out of the side. I might go ahead and just delete all those. Uh, just because I don't really want those lasers to be on the side. And that looks pretty good. Uh, what's nice is that since it came with a blend file, it already has all the textures and everything into it. And so I don't have to really mess around uh, too much there. And so let's go ahead and animate this thing. Now I'm going to go ahead going to pose mode and then let's select this and go ahead and disable the motion tracking since I don't need that anymore I hit I or actually let's go ahead and just do the auto keyframe and so where do I want it to start I kind of want it to start back a little bit so G shift Z somewhere like around here maybe let's uh, GZ move that up a little bit and so that's where it starts then where it ends we'll say it ends somewhere like right around here rotated a little bit and so how does that look okay so point a to point b let's make it a little bit curved and so like that and then maybe rotate it a little bit like that just so it's more of a curved shape rather than a uh you know point a to point b it's actually uh you know not kind of lin it's looking like it's linear right now oh that's actually because it goes backwards whoops shift that there okay that's not giving me what i want so let's move this back here okay, and then we can move this kind of like over here just so it follows kind of a curve shape and it's still like i can't nail down that like kind of middle curve of course i'm not an animator so <laughs> Take everything I do with a grain of salt. Okay, so this is really just about playing around with it. Uh, I do want to like have the guns move since I noticed that this has like some uh, some you know rigs for it. Let's see, what are some of these other ones? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So we'll have it start. Um, really great model by the way. So definitely go check out. Uh, the person who made this i'll have a link down below where you can check out the model and also his youtube channel and so we'll start like this is that the full animation so there and then at frame 60 we'll g double tap y and now it'll you know deploy and so it'll kind of deploy throughout the animation that looks good and i also want to let's see where do the guns kind of deploy out let's see that Okay, sick. So this is where I'm going to have the guns uh, stay rested, and then we'll just play around a little bit. So G, um, Z maybe? Yeah. So we'll just have the guns kind of like, you know, scan around the area. 
and uh, you know have some fun there. So the guns are like looking, and then we'll have it. I kind of want it to stare at the camera at the very end. So I'm just kind of looking up here. There you go. So now the thing is kind of staring into the camera. Um, let's just make sure over here. Okay, so that is all looking good. So it basically, you know, put that guns out and then, you know, continues. Um, that is looking pretty good. I could go into more in depth or whatever, but since we're running out of time, I'm going to leave that kind of as the simple default animation. Uh, so now let's, you know, mess around with some of the reflections. So uh, let's actually add on a, whoops, let's go up to object mode. Let's go ahead and turn off bones again. Let's go ahead and shift A, add mesh plane. And then what I want to do, uh, first of all, let's uh, undo the animation since it provided an animation keyframe down there. I don't want that at all. So now what I basically want to do is provide some reflections for this little robot. And so uh, let's make a new collection, reflections. So I'm going to have to hurry because I'm running out of time for compositing. The reflections is now there. Uh, and then what I want to do is let's do a new plane out here. Uh, we want to go here. I want to add a new uh, reflections material. Let's go ahead and delete the principal BSDF. Add a texture image or image texture. Whoops. And then let's uh, go find our footage image sequence. I'm going to click that. Auto refresh on. Uh, color into the surface. Control T. Add it to window. And so that is looking pretty good. Let's set that to mirror. And so now that is pretty much done for the ground plane. Let's go ahead and I want to Alt D, duplicate that up, rotate on the X 90 degrees. Or that's weird. I guess not. Just rotate that like that. Okay. And so now this one is basically just going to be behind. And then the other one. I feel like my motion track is very, very off for this uh, specific thing. Okay, so now that we have that, I'll no <laughs> I'll notice the uh, the little emit emitter things are kind of, you know, glitching out uh, in the middle here. So I wonder, there might not be a way to fix that in time, but of course, you know, if I was doing this for real, I actually would. So let's uh, size these up a little bit. Of course, I don't want these to affect, gosh, I believe it's the diffuse and the shadow. So I'll just select that off for both of those. It seems to be doing a pretty good job. Let's just make sure it's not affecting the lighting. I only want this to be ref uh, affecting the reflections. Yeah, so as you can see, it just gets some of those reflections in. Super sick. And so, of course, I have to come up here and set it to indirect only. So we don't see any of those in the viewport. And all of that is looking good. Uh, I'm not going to do shadows for this. So let's go ahead and get a first kind of render out there. And I am just going to be sticking with uh, compositing inside of Blender. I'm not going to be dealing with taking it into Nuke or anything like that. Uh, but that looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks closer to the camera. And so I, I have done a shot like this before. Um, you know, with this robot in this thing or whatever. But it's been like over... You know, probably three years since I've done it. And so I knew that it was possible, and I'm sure I could get uh, very advanced into it. Uh, but, you know, with the time we have here, uh, this shot would have taken me like a day or two before. Uh, but now, you know, I'm trying to do under 20 minutes, which uh, is coming up here soon. So let's try it. I want to maybe we'll decrease that a little bit more. I'm just trying to look at like the black areas here to match the black areas a little bit more. And then, of course, I don't really have a great point of reference for the white other than, like, these blown out bits over here. And so that looks pretty good. I want some more, like, green bounce light since there's a lot of green in here. So let's add a little bit of green, maybe. Not a little, uh, or not a lot, just, just a tiny bit. Okay, so something like that, maybe. This uh, gets us a little bit more color corrected and matching and stuff. Uh, let me try adding a glare node, maybe. That's way too much. And so, let's see if I uh, decrease that. Oops, let's do it to a one for now. I think that's pretty good. Let me uh, just double check everything, and we might be able to do it under 15. Yeah, I might 
Ooh, I gotta hurry. Um, so we'll do uh, divide that by four for this. Let's go ahead. Motion blur is on. Let's go ahead and set up some output properties. Um, let's go to renders. Robot comp v1, and then I'm just gonna save it as a h.264 pn or video file. And then let's go ahead and render animation. Oh man, we just missed uh, the 15 minutes. But uh, after this render is, we'll see how it does. And uh, as, since I still have some time left, we'll see. Okay, so here is the final result that we got. It's actually not bad at all. Of course, if I was actually spending more time, I'd probably break down the animation a little bit more because at the end right here, it kind of, you know, comes to a hole. And so I don't want that, uh, of course, but I think it's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, just shows, goes to show you uh, once you learn everything, how fast you can become uh, and efficient you can become with Blender uh, inside of visual effects. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'll have uh, this file and everything I use on my Patreon. So definitely go uh, consider supporting me over there if you are interested and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video